Welcome back to another cleaning video. Peace and blessings, everybody. I am Majita. So today we are going to be cleaning out my refrigerator. This video is probably about two weeks overdue for myself. As you can see, we have a lot going on. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. So the first thing that we're going to do is remove all of the condiments, all of the food, all of basically we're just going to remove everything from the refrigerator and then we're going to start wiping it down. If I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me, don't want to wake up. What I'm doing right here is removing the top glass shelf from the refrigerator so I can give it a really good wash and I'm going to use some hot sudsy water with a little bit of bleach. Sometimes I forget to breathe. I'm looking in your eyes. Wish you could see the things I see. I don't want to wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling. So, the first thing that we're going to do is clean the refrigerator with the Method Bamboo Disinfect um, Spray Cleaner. And we're just gonna just spray the entire refrigerator and get it all over everything. And I did not allow it to sit for about 10 minutes so it can disinfect, but I did let it sit for a few seconds and we went ahead and wiped everything down. So now we're going to go ahead and wash all of the dishes that was in the sink for that day. And we're also going to wipe all of the refrigerator compartments such as the shelving that goes on the side door, the butter dish um, tray little door, um, all of the bottom drawers and just everything that was in the refrigerator. We're going to go ahead and wipe it down. Again, I am using some hot sudsy water with a little bit of bleach. Sometimes I always find that washing dishes is very satisfying when I'm watching someone else do it. And actually I'm watching myself doing like, wow, this is very satisfying. But during the process, washing dishes is a lot of work. Once 
One quick funny thing about washing dishes is my mother always taught us to wash the silverware first. You wash the cups, bowls, plates, then any pots. And then you always start with the cleanest pots first and then you get to the more of the dirty pots. And then you clean everything out and you would dry everything off with a cloth and then put everything up so there's nothing left on the counter. Many times I do not do that. I'll just wash the dishes, allow them to dry, and then the next morning I'll go ahead and put everything away. But let me know if that was the same thing in your household because we didn't grow up with the dishwasher, so we washed all of our dishes. So just leave a comment down below if that's some, that was a system that you guys grew up with. To speed this process up, I'm going to go ahead and use another microfiber cloth to dry out all of the containers that's going to go into the refrigerator. So what I'm doing right here is, this was the top glass shelf. This is actually pretty heavy. So what I'm doing is just gonna go ahead and clean this off. Now a lot of times I'll have a some food containers and sometimes it'll stick if it spills, it'll kind of stick to the glass. So what I really wanted to do was kind of scrub that off and I used a plastic spatula to scrape it off. Um, I didn't want to use anything that was gonna scrape or mess up the glass. But it actually came off and it looked pretty good when I got done with it. So what I'm doing right here is I am cleaning out the vegetable and fruit bins that I use at the bottom. So as you can see, it was extremely dirty. Um, a lot of the fruit did soil because I um, we didn't eat it quick enough. Uh, the last two weeks just was really busy and I didn't cook as much as I thought I was going to do. So I really try to be careful not to waste, but unfortunately sometimes it does happen. say another thing that I've been doing to try not to waste is I don't do like a huge food shopping haul every month like sometimes people shop for the entire month um, I normally shop every other week and sometimes weekly if I need to pick up something for a, um, a recipe but normally I for me what works for me in my home is that I'll probably shop like once every other week and that actually that food will you know let us get through it unless it's like a big snowstorm or something I'll buy just a little bit extra but that actually prevents me from wasting a lot of food so we're almost done with washing the dishes and I'm going to show you guys a quick overview of what the refrigerator looked like before I start filling it up now this is just so satisfying to me it just looks so nice and clean should work it out you know we should work it out before i'm too invested i should probably ask you ask you all my questions get to know you better 
every time I take this thing apart, I get so a little turned around on how to put it back on. Anyway, I did wind up figuring it out. And what I normally put in the sliding bin is our cheese products. Let me know if you guys do the same thing. Um, I, I've seen some people actually put their cheese in like a nice little organized container, which you'll see later. But I just always throw every type of cheese that we buy into this bin. So now I'm going to go ahead and start putting all of the food back into the refrigerator and I try to come up with a system that's going to work. So normally I'll put all of the salad dressings and some um, different types of um, sauces in one container. I'll put syrup, any sweet sauce, like we have some cinnamon sauce and we have some sticky bun sauce. I'll put that in another little container and then just other miscellaneous sauces like cheese or teriyaki, uh, mayonnaise. Is, um, unfortunately my children open up two bottles of ketchup so you're gonna see two bottles of ketchup and that bottle is a huge bottle that I normally don't buy but they wind up opening both of them so so before I show you the final reveal I'm gonna go ahead and clean it outside of the refrigerator because I don't know which believe that it's very important to clean it from all of the dirty fingerprints and the different germs that the kids bring in so what I'm doing is removing all of the magnetics um, the alphabets and a lot of our magnets now the special thing with the magnets is every time that we go to a place we've been collecting magnets over the years so there may be different countries there may be different states or different places that we visited Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this. Can't resist to be a little risky and go for it. Cause I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know, I do anything. I am currently using a stainless steel cleaner this is the method brand and I really like this I clean the trash can the stove and the refrigerator with this and it does give it a really nice shine just give me one more talking to you here we go again staying up on night to see if you've been texting me where do we go from here I want to go all in I am going to wipe it down with a dry microfiber cloth um, I don't believe you need to put anything wet on it, just a nice dry cloth and it comes together really nice. I just wanna let you know I could go for this, no more tricks We could take things slow Say you think about it too Another thing, if you do have magnets um, with a stainless steel refrigerator, it does scratch your refrigerator. Um, so I do have a little bit of scratches, but it's okay. You know, we, we live here, it is what it is. But I just, so when you see the reveal, you'll see just a little bit of scratches and that come from magnets. So if you don't want any scratches on your refrigerator, I would recommend not using the magnets. You push me, then you pull me back in. So give me a sign, give me a sign, baby just give me a sign made it this far into the video I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video and I hope you enjoyed it so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the outside look how shiny and bright that just looks so nice oh my goodness so then we're gonna go ahead and go to the inside of the refrigerator and just see how I organized everything and again thank you for taking the time to watch my channel you guys enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for watching Give me a sign. Just give me a sign. Just give me a sign. Just give me a Which way we're going? No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Mm -hmm. So give me a sign. Give me a sign.